Welcome back everyone to another episode of Candid Coffee. I'm Doug. And I'm Phil. And today we've got Kore, our natural process Ethiopian coffee. Uh, another one of those coffees from Israel Degfa. We talked about him in uh, the Conga video. You guys should check that out. Link down below. But uh, So this one's natural process or dry it in the fruit. And it is delicious and vibrant. And we'll give you that aha moment if you've never had one of these coffees. We have to cut our roaster off, Jeremy on the coffee table sometimes because <laughs> we'll just stop at Corey and we'll just start talking about how delicious it is which is not productive really yeah no. in terms of <laughs> and like okay Jeremy we know it's your favorite coffee ever let's move on and we're all guilty of that it's not yeah fun. it's but true yeah, he we does gotta, love this coffee you know, we gotta hide it this him. is roaster recommended for yeah sure. definitely roaster's choice well let's taste it I'm I'm just ready to drink it I've been brewing this one at home I've been bringing this one at home as well. Oh man. Yeah, even before I, even before I take a sip, it's just so like, just like flowers and berries. So a lot of that again has to do with the, the process, and, you know, or the way that it's dried in all of that fruit. So it has a lot of time to absorb those fruity flavors from the, from the sugars and the pectin and the, and, and all that other stuff too. But it also comes from. Uh, it's you know genetic diversity. Uh, coffee is native to Southwest Ethiopia, where this coffee comes from. Yeah, there's like a so. Oftentimes, I feel like a lot of times you see heirloom on a bag of Ethiopian coffee, and there's become like a bit of um, like uh, this legend yeah, among like the roasters yeah. that uh, that has been self propagating that this means that there's just people out in the forest like picking cherries. Um, and it's all kinds of different varieties. Um, and that's not really true. There are some areas, some very highly um, guarded coffee plots in Ethiopia that just have a lot of heirloom varieties where, I mean, you have to like get approval to go to, no joke, and like they will guard you um, so that you don't take it. I mean, you try taking seeds from these heirlooms, they're like, this is like Ethiopia's, you know, this is the hen, the slain, the golden eggs area. Yeah. Um, so, uh, but, th but the, what most people are growing is in plots that are theirs and it's the varieties that, um, that, uh, that have been cultivated. It's the real, like, I mean, the real thing about Ethiopia and Ethiopian coffee that gives it just like unparalleled vibrance is the soil. I mean, that's really what in my mind makes the greatest difference as I've you know, been to all kinds of different countries and cup coffees is like the soil, the terroir, the, the growing conditions really make a huge difference. The, the varietals are different. And you're like, oh yeah, it kind of yeah. has a Bourbon characteristic or that kind of has a Couture or um, a, a Catamore, um, which aren't very good, but it's <laughs> Don't say uh, Catamore. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, but but the real difference I feel like comes from, from the soil and the process, but mainly, mainly the soil. And Ethiopia is where um, coffee, like Doug said, came from. I mean, it's intended to grow in Ethiopia, and it's really interesting. Even visiting some um, really good farmers in Ethiopia, uh, the first time I started visiting these farms, I was kind of like a bit shocked by how little pruning and spacing and uh, management was being done, especially compared to like farmers in Central and South America. It really shows that there's even more potential in Ethiopia because it already is some of you know. The best coffee in the world and uh, there's there are a lot of steps that can be taken towards um, especially the just visibility in the processes with farmers so um, yeah anyway that's Def what we were talking about yeah definitely so fun you know fun facts there for you uh, man I'm getting a lot of I've been getting a lot of tropical fruit out of this lately like yeah, definitely. pineapple I mentioned like pineapple upside down cake it's like really just like sweet and vibrant and actually we've been brewing this at a more concentrated or stronger ratio than, than usual. Um, yeah. We've, yeah, typically for about, you know, for 336 grams or just shy of about 12 ounces, 12 ounce cup, uh, we'd use about 21 or 22 grams. We bumped this up to 24, which doesn't sound like much, but it's enough to, and we grind it a tiny bit coarser. So we're aiming for, we're aiming to pull just slightly less out of the grounds than usual, but we're also at the same time trying to amp up the strength because uh, it, can tend to be a little bit lighter bodied and so just 
you add more coffee and it's going to be like richer and more syrupy. But you have to be careful that you don't also like over extract or over brew it and let it get bitter. Sometimes if you do that with naturals, uh, you know, if in the fruit dried coffees like this, it can get a little bit of a almost like overripe peachy kind of thing uh, going on. But the, uh, this ratio we think really preserves that vibrancy and that brightness and you get all that sweet fruitiness. We'll put it, so, we'll put that down below. Yeah, we'll put a link. That, in that is a key with this one. coffee. I mean, it's really good, but we did struggle a little bit, like doing our normal ratios. We're like, why isn't this coming out? Like it's on, you know, we're tasting the coffee yeah, table. Yeah, it's like too light. It's kind of weird. Yeah, but uh, man, bumping up the the coffee ratio, um, it's perfect. Uh, this is available in the shops and online right now. Uh, this currently one currently going out. Currently going out to our uh, membership subscribers. Uh, so if you want to know what that's all about, just go to our website, CorvusCoffee.com. Uh, and you can read about it there and sign up for that. Uh, speaking of subscribing, subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get more of these videos when they come out. Hit the like button if you liked this video. I like this video. Yeah, it was I good. Like, yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> Leave a like down below or a comment or a question, we'll get to it. Hit the little bell button, the notification button too, so you can uh, get an alert when these new videos come out so you can know what's up. And uh, yeah, you'll get all sorts of fun facts about the varieties and the process and how we brew it and things like that too, as well as what it tastes like. So we're excited about this coffee. We've got a bunch of other coffees that are out right now and that are coming out that we're excited about. So like I said, subscribe, hit that notification button. And as always, guys, thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Cool. Anything like else burning on your mind about Ethiopia? I feel like I've talked a lot. Well, like, Ethiopia Naturals, I might, you know, mention again, you know, coffee's native to southwest Ethiopia, where this coffee comes from. These are, like, ancient heirloom varieties. That's and not entirely true, though. So well, these are, true. they're from ancient heirloom varieties, but these are all cultivated varieties that we're drinking. Okay, well... They're all from the government. They all have, like, a number. Oh, the, really? The whole, like, mythology around heirloom but varieties... But it's still, like comes from like a couple like <clears throat> distinct places right where coffee started where the government has like these huge plots of varieties that are I feel like we should just do this in the video but they have these yeah, huge plots that they're like you can't you don't know where they are and if you go there they're like watching you with guns and stuff so you can't take any of them that they're like yeah that's awesome we should talk about that actually so I mean it, yeah, they're still they're still very exotic. It's right? not, but it's not like wild coffee like we think. Like it, there's this thing, and I used to propagate it, and then I went there like that's not true at all. <laughs> it's like all the coffee is cultivated like everywhere, and it's a variety that they know. The secret to, we should just go into the video. All right, but it's not me like correcting you, and you also got oh, oh well, coffee. Oh, it's got coffee. On. Come on, no, you got it. She's like rubbing on you. You're just gonna go under me too. Yeah, because, yeah, that's a myth. Alright, it's a myth. That's a lie. That's ignorant.